Okay, so today we're going to show you how to make your own plant markers with uh, old coat hangers from the dry cleaners. It'll be metal. Any, any kind will do. These are going to happen to be white because that's what I have. But uh, And I'm using copper. You don't have to use copper. You can use any kind of galvanized steel. Um, flashing, roof flashing works real well because it's thin and easy to bend. That's also galvanized. So uh, I'll take you through the process on how to make uh, what I'm showing you right now. Now the first stop is the coat hanger. That's how we end up. That's how we start, I should say. That's it. And the next step is to make a couple cuts. You want to have as little bends as possible to uh, straighten out. So I make my cut right after the first set of bends here. So it's nice and straight down. And then the only thing I have to bend or straighten out is, is this end on each end. Which takes you to the next one. And this is the straightened out version. Now this end, you'll see is a little bit bent. That's just bending it by hand. Nothing fancy. You can actually leave it like that. It's fine because that's the end that will either get stuck in the ground or cut off. Me being who I am, I like to straighten it out. So you'll see that's basically just hammered on the bench. It's real simple to do. Just basically hammer the high spots. It will follow suit. You don't have to get muscular with it. Just let the weight of the hammer hit it and you're fine. And then the plant tag. Now the, for these particular ones, which I'll give you the dimensions for, this is four inches across from here to here. About an inch and a half thick. You can make it thinner. I wouldn't go much thicker than this, but you can make it thinner if you like. Again, this is copper. I happen to have a whole bunch of it. This is just one of the two rolls I have laying around. I've had it for a long time. I use it sparingly, but this is a nice use for it. I kind of like the way the copper ages. So, um, before I show you how to do it, I'm going to give you a picture of some plans I drew up of this jig. And this way, if you want, you can freeze frame on it, and you can take these dimensions. And where the holes are marked, which you'll see in these places here, I'm hoping you guys can get a good measure on that or get a good reading on that. You can do anything from a quarter inch wood dowel to three and three eighths diameter wood dowels. Just drill in those spots. There's going to be six spots total, and you put your dowels in, and that's all you need to do. It's nothing fancy. I'll stay on that for a second and like I said you could freeze frame it and grab these dimensions if you want. Then I'll show you the jig. The jig is just any piece of scrap wood. I use one by which is three quarter uh, nominal. One by is the nominal dimension, three quarter is the actual. You can use two by, whatever. In this case it's a one by six. So you can see it's just something I stuck in the needle long enough so I could stick it in the vise and have enough room. Uh, I also added this little piece up here, and what you'll see does that does is it keeps the wire straight when I put it in. See, I put it in, and when I when I go to bend, it's not going to want to bend here because what's going to happen is if you don't have this, as you bend each corner, this is going to want to bend up. So it's not a big deal; you could straighten it out, but just to make it easy on myself, I added that little piece. That's something you can add. It's just a matter of sticking the wire in screw in a piece of anything that you have, any kind of scrap material. It could even be a freaking paint uh, stir or paint mixer. Just something to hold the wire in place. Now I use bolts. This is just something I happen to have laying around. First thing you're going to want to do is mark your center line. You can see I have a mark there. I also have a mark on my fixture. That's what the CL stands for. And you'll also see that CL on the drawing. That just stands for center line. All right. You're going to put this piece in, line it up. Roughly, it doesn't really matter. And then you're going to start making your bends. Now this is going to be kind of tough because I'm holding the camera. But you're going to see I just come around. Now I actually, if you bend it till it hits the screw, you're going to see that it walks away a little. So you want to do a little bit of an over bend. And I'll show you. You just kind of come by until it just touches. Alright. Sorry. Now you see mine's not perfectly straight. It's just because it's the way I made it. Made a little bit of an over bend there. And you'll see it comes in nice. Now you just keep pushing this back. And the same thing applies here. You're going to bend here over to the next screw. And then you're going to bend back. And the same thing here. You're going to bend over just to get a little bit of an overbend. Let it sit on the screw or dowel, whatever you happen to use, and bend back. Now I like to bend mine so they 
come out on an angle a little bit. You can bend them straight, but I find it makes it a little nicer when you go to stick it in the ground. So that's about it. You take it out. And now you have your basic plant marker, basic frame. Now if you want, you notice on the side, I'll show you here, it's pretty straight. You can put a bend right here to bend it back a little so when it's stuck in the ground it's actually facing up like a little bit at an angle like that so it makes it easier to read if not you can leave it straight perfectly your choice you're making it so so now you have this and then you're going to take the copper and basically just hand bend it oh, I'm sorry if I keep dropping out of frame it's kind of tough here doing this with one hand but lay it like that. Now I'm going to set the camera down and I'm going to try and do this in one shot so I can put you over here. You're going to just line it up kind of center by eye and just bend it like that. Like that. One shot. That's why it's nice to use thin material or malleable material like copper is. It's just really easy to bend. Bend it in two places. And there you have your marker. Now this one didn't come out perfect, I apologize. The uh, end here isn't as straight as I'd like it. And I'm going to make another jig with, with wood dowels like I suggested to you guys because it will actually work better. But you get the basic idea. That's it. Nothing fancy and then you can mark it and do whatever you want. Stick it in the ground and away you go. Again, this is the final product. This is a better looking one, so uh, you can use this as your reference. You can see how I have the legs open up. So uh, that's it for the plant markers. If you guys have any questions, certainly leave it in the comments section. And like I said, I'll give you another shot. Hopefully this is a little bit better one. You can get some dimensions off it if you so choose. Alright, so that's it for the plant markers. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful to any of you guys at Garden. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon.